Welcome back. Well, today I am joined by Daniel Barrett, who is here on behalf of the Kids Give to Kids charity. Well, Daniel, thank you. We usually see you around Christmas time. How are you? Yeah, I wanted to change things up. I wanted to let people know that we're an all year round program, not just about the holidays. That's great. That's great. Now, I know you have, well, first of all, before, before we get into the events that you have coming up, tell me uh, briefly, what is Kids Give to Kids charity? So Kids Give to Kids is a program that allows kids to take their used toys that they don't play with anymore, upload them to our website for other kids to go and choose those toys for free all year long, mm -hmm. trying to change the dynamics of less fortunate versus fortunate, making every kid equal based on choice. So kids can go onto our website and pick brand new toys for free, play with them by choice, place them back on the website to possibly become a giver for the first time in their lives. Ah, you know, I like that. I've always been a big proponent of recycling, um, whatever it may be. And, you know, when you have, when, when you have, like you pass down toys to maybe another child and then they give it to their friends. I think that that's really a great way to go about things. Plus we're recycling stuff. That's probably not even broken, <laughs> you know, because yeah, otherwise it ends up in the, in the landfill. Yeah. And, and what's awesome is the kids get to choose. So it's not just pushed to their siblings. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. A kid actually gets to choose it. And I think it makes the kid feel a little bit better when they know their toy was chosen versus it was just put into a bag and taken to Goodwill or to a local church. Okay. That makes sense. I like the way that works. Now, um, let's first talk about your fundraiser that you're having, and that's going to be on March 31st. Yeah. So we are in our second year and we've never had a real true sit down fundraiser and not only to raise money, but to educate people on our program, because it is a little bit different than a typical program. Mm -hmm. But March 31st, we're having a, a, a nine course sit down dinner. And if you go to our website and click fundraiser 2022, gives you the complete information, including the full menu, and a little dialogue on, you know, more how our program works. Mm -hmm. And we're not asking for a donation up front. We're just asking to cover the cost of our program, of, of our dinner, which is only a $50 donation, includes, you know, appetizers, a nine course dinner, and desserts. And it's also a great way to network. So if you're a business owner or a professional person that would just like to, you know, interact with more uh, people in their community, then this would be a great way to actually even maybe do business you know, and, and get new clients for their business because it will be a networking event. And where is it being held? It's in Westminster. The address is on the website. It's a, it's not really a restaurant. It's a, it's more of a, an event center that actually really works with, you know, wedding receptions and so on and so forth. Okay. All right. Awesome. Now, uh, we'll, at the, at the event, we'll be talking a lot about what you guys do, as well as letting people know how to do the uploading and things like that for, for the toy drive? So we're going to have a silent auction. So we've got a bunch of different things that we're going to silent auction off. Obviously, you know, if we can raise money at this event, it would be great. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a photo booth so you can re be remembered. And then we also are going to talk a little bit about a program, but mainly, you know, talk about the difference between less fortunate versus fortunate kids and giving them an actual choice. And that isn't happening in our society. So I wanna lay that out for these people to better understand that to really change the world, why not work with the kids that can change the world? Yeah. You know? So yeah. if a kid's growing up learning how to give, how much better decisions can they make? You know, If they have a choice, how much better choices are they gonna make as they grow up? And that's well, I'm hopes. It also gives them a little control too, right? So, I mean, they can choose. Well, it, gives them, it gives them control in a way that right now it's not happening in our society. Every nonprofit, which we need every nonprofit out there to help out, but primarily they just give and push and the kids accept because it's better than nothing. Exactly. So when you talk about your program now, you said it's going to be year round. So before you were just doing it sort of the holiday, why is it year round? Well, it actually has been year round the whole time it's just that when we would have our interviews it would be during the christmas time which would just assume that it was a christmas time you know program but yeah the reason it's all year round is because life is all year round you know the world is all year round kids you know have birthdays they have you know opportunities to 
earn a toy through their parents saying, hey, clean your room, get a new toy, you know? Uh, teaching kids doesn't stop, you know? It's an everyday scenario. Right. So if we can teach kids every day how to potentially give, and giving kids choice all year round, then that's going to change the dynamics of their lives. Yeah. And that's my goal with this program. It isn't everybody needs to understand that it's not the toys. The toys isn't the toys are just a vehicle in this program to teach kids how to give, right. teach kids how to have more confidence, teach kids how to recycle. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're just using the toy as the vehicle because I feel it's the only thing that these kids believe in their heart that they own. Okay. They, they believe they own their toys. So how much greater value is it to a parent to have a kid come up and ask if he can give his toy away versus a parent saying and telling their kids they have to give their toys away. Right, right. You know, because so so our our viewers most likely have grandchildren and they have toys at home that they can certainly donate. Uh, what would you like them to do with those toys? So there's two real great possibilities for them to take advantage of. One is they can get their kids involved and their grandchildren involved to upload the toy onto the website. Once it's approved, the kids can go to the website and see their toy on the store. Okay. And then underneath in the notes, it says donated by that kid. How great is that to see their name as the person giving their toy away and then once it's chosen to be able to take that toy to the designated location to drop it off and to earn a free kids meal from that location how much better is it for them to see the whole process and know that their toy is going to to someone that chose that toy that possibly could love it just as much as they loved it mm -hmm. so that's one way the second way is maybe they just have so many toys and it would be way overwhelming for them to upload every single toy as an individual toy so then they can fill out our bulk form on our website and, you know, take a picture of 10 toys or more and schedule a time for us to go and pick them up. Now, once we pick those toys up, we have a shrink wrapping machine and we shrink wrap the toys as if they're brand new again. So mm. the kids can actually, you know, open these toys and feel like, wow, I got a brand new toy again. And uh -huh. it's amazing because they literally look brand new again. You they know what do. I mean? They, awesome. they look like they're brand new toys, but they're literally used toys. So love it. It's just, it's just something that no one else in the world is doing. No, and and I'm I'm happy that it's going well for you, and that you're able to do this wonderful service. So thank you so much for the information. Well, thank you for allowing me on your show again. It's just such a blessing, and I appreciate you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. And if you want more information about what we've discussed, the fundraiser on March 31st or the toy program, you can go to kidsgivetokids.org. We'll be right back.